And many months later, Abraham was visited by three angels. Who could that be? Sarah, get some water. We have some visitors. Yes, dear. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, my Lord, my Lord, please do not pass her home without stopping. Please rest a while with your servant and kindly take some food before you proceed. Sure, we'll be glad to. Thank you. I'll get you something to eat so you'll be refreshed before you go on your way. Sarah, special visitors from God is here. Hagar, get some water to wash their feet. What is Sarah? She's in the tent. What are they talking about? Sarah will give birth to a child by this time next year. What? <laughs> I am 80 years old and he is beyond 90 and now we'll have a child. <laughs> Why did Sarah laugh and say that she is too old to have a son? Is anything too hard for God? I I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have laughed. What I said is going to happen. We have to leave now. May I accompany you part of the way? I've heard that the people in Sodom and Gomorrah are very evil. The sufferings in those cities is great. I'm going to see for myself if what I've heard is correct. If it is correct, then I will destroy the city. You would destroy good people along with wicked people. What if there are 50 good people in the city? Would you destroy them with the rest? If I find 50 good people in Sodom, I will spare that city. But if you find only 40? For the sake of 40, I will spare the city. Lord, please don't be angry with me. But what if there is only 30, or 20, or even 10? If there are 10 good people in Sodom, will you destroy the city even then? If I can find 10 good and righteous people in Sodom, then I'll spare the entire city for them. Thank you, Lord. You are so kind. Thank you. <laughs> 